and welcome to this week's episode of Coffee with a Career Coach. My name is Erica O'Toole and I am the Associate Director of the CMU Career Development Center and I am joined by a very special guest today which I will let her introduce herself in just a moment. Um, but as we do with every Coffee with a Career Coach, um, I am currently drinking my Big B. So um, whenever I drop my son off at daycare, I get to swing into Big B, which is nice. And my Big B has my caramel and um, white chocolate uh, flavoring, which is my absolute favorite. So without further ado, I will hand it over to you, Alexis. Hi, everyone. I am Alexis Hanton, and I am a recruiter with Auto Owners Insurance. Um, like Erica, I also have my coffee here as well. Well, I guess I shouldn't say coffee. I have chai tea today. I'm trying to be nice. fancier, I guess, today. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I, uh, I'm glad to be here and I uh, got some in my cup as well. So, Awesome. Well, we're super excited to have you today. Um, Alexis, I'm going to go ahead and get started with some questions oh. that we have kind of pre-figured out, but if anyone out there has any questions that's watching, please feel free to submit at any time and I will make sure that we get those questions answered, whether that's live or after the live show as well. So Alexis, tell me a little bit about Auto Owners. Yeah, great. Um, so Auto Owners, um, we are a property and casualty um, insurance company. Um, with that though, we also have a life insurance company as well. Um, we have, um, you know, in June, we will have been in business for over 107 years. Um, so wow. that's something that's, you know, we really pride ourselves on is just you know, how long we've really been in the business as well. Um, the other part um, with auto owners, we have, um, you know, within the last, I would say, 10 years ish or so, um, we have gained some affiliate companies that um, we encompass in our auto owners umbrella as well. Um, and that is Atlantic Casualty Insurance Company, um, Capital Insurance Group, and the Concord um, Insurance Group as well. And so that just kind of diversifies our, you know, types of business that we can do with the different companies we've affiliated. So, um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about auto owners. Um, so I, you know, I had mentioned the property and casualty piece as well as the life insurance. Um, we use the independent agency system. And what that means is we have um, agents that they represent all different insurance companies um, that they are appointed with, um, and they get to choose who they place their business with. And so um, that is, you know, something that we, you know, strive to have great relationships with our agents um, because it, at the end of the day, it's up to them to sell our product and, um, you know, submit that business to us. So um, that's just a little bit of a nutshell of what auto owners is. Of course, you know, we could go all day about who auto owners <laughs> is and the different areas and things like that we can work with. But that is a nice little screenshot of who auto owners is. So awesome. Thank you. So I know a lot of students out there are wondering because, you know, they're looking, especially right now, we have students looking ahead um, for different positions, internships, things like that. So what made you want to work at Auto Owners? Um, so that's that's a really good question. Um, what really got me in the door um, at Auto Owners was actually an internship. Um, and I had a fantastic internship there. Um, it was very hands-on, um, you know, the other places I had in, or excuse me, interviewed with, um, for an internship, it kind of seemed more salesy, um, you know, cold calling, you know, fetching coffees, things like that type of intern work, um, where my internship at auto owners, um, I was trained as if I was a full-time associate. Um, so that exposed me to the insurance industry. Um, and, but also like may helped me, um, figure out, you know, what type of culture am I, you know, willing to work with, um, you know, post-graduation, um, you know, and things like that. Um, the other part um, with that is, um, I don't know, it's, you know, our internships, they're fantastic. They're all hands-on. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's a great company to work for. There's a lot of growth in this company. And so, you know, I started out as an intern and then, you know, since then, I think I've had three or four other roles in the company. Um, and so it's, it's been a great ride. I love it here. That's awesome. And I love that you mentioned the idea of, you know, having the internship there and then wanting to work there because we talked to so many of our students about the importance of an internship and, you yeah. know, some are required to do internships, some are not. 
And so I think this just shows how valuable an internship can be because then you can really evaluate a company and decide, is this where I want to work? So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, just another thing, Erica, to add to that, um, you know, I went to Olivet College and I was in the risk management um, insurance and risk management program. So, you know, you know, we learned about insurance and things like that. Um, so it was already in my mind that I wanted to be in the insurance industry, but it wasn't until I did that hands-on experience within the industry where it almost validated what I was studying, you know? So Absolutely. that's another part of that. And not that you have to be a risk management major or anything like that, but I just think an internship is going to be, it's going to help students figure out, you know, what they want, what they don't want. So. Absolutely. And I think that leads us really perfectly actually into our next question, yeah. um, because I know auto owners is really open to hiring quite a few different majors. So what majors specifically do you look to hire? Um, you know, like you just said, you know, we are open to all majors. One of our many slogans um, at Auto Owners is many majors, many opportunities. Um, so we want students with all different backgrounds, all different majors, um, you know, so with it being an insurance company, you know, I think from the start, a business degree is is great. Um, you know, we see a lot of finance, accounting, um, even economics majors that come through. But I mean, that, that's not where we stop there, though. I mean, we have associates that, um, you know, they didn't come from, you know, a college level or they didn't come from college right into um, auto owners. They had so much other life experience before they came to auto owners. And uh, the, you know, a lot of examples I like to share is, um, you know, we have a lot of teachers that left the teaching, you know, area and came to auto owners. And what's really great is, you know, yeah, they became an underwriter or a claim rep or something like that. Um, but with their education background, we use that to our advantage too. You know, maybe that associate, we will put them in a training coordinator role or something like that, where they can use that training and that teaching um, ex experience that they already have and teach our new associates, um, you know, our different procedures and all of that good stuff. Um, another area that we like to to see come through um, our life insurance company. We have a lot of people with medical backgrounds that come and underwrite life and um, life insurance. Uh, we see a lot of nurses that come and, you know, they just have all of that medical terminology. They have that, you know, that knowledge when we're underwriting, you know, someone's life um, in a sense and their health. And so, um, so I don't know, it's like, you know, what majors do we want? Um, you know, we're open to all of them is what I always yeah. tell people. And that's so awesome for our students to know that because I think sometimes they associate specific companies with specific majors. Um, so to be able to hear like a, a company like Auto Owners is so open to other majors mm. is is really great for them. So yeah, yeah, I uh, I had a coworker um, when I had first interned at Auto Owners, and him and I became really good friends. And um, and you know. I was just so naive thinking that everybody was an insurance and risk management major or at least a business major of some kind. And um, at the time, I, you know, this coworker, I asked him, you know, about his education background. And he said that he had a music major at wow. Emma. And I just was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Music major. But that's, I mean, I mean, education is only one part of it. You know, the mm -hmm. life experience and, you know, the other experience that he had had, he was able to, you know, bring to us at Auto Owners too. So it's just, it's really cool, the different yeah. backgrounds that people bring to the company. So that's awesome. So we have a lot of students that come in for resumes and cover letters that we kind of help get through the process for applying to jobs and internships. Um, could you share a little bit with me about what you guys look for on resumes and cover letters when you're going through the hiring process? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. Um, so for students, um, you know, it's hard because they don't have a whole lot of maybe job experience um, or, you know, life experience at that point. Um, so a lot of your experience is college. Um, so we want to see um, your GPA. Um, and, you know, the thing with that as well, just be truthful about what your GPA is, um, you know, because that's another part of auto owners. Uh, one of our core values is honesty. Um, so it's one of those as well where, um, 
you know, just be truthful about what your GPA is and we'll figure it out from there if that's something we want to move forward with or not. Um, include your major, um, you know, what year of school you're in, because even, you know, for our interns, um, that's important to know what year of schooling you're in. Um, extracurricular activities, um, that's huge. Um, just showing that you're part of a team and, um, you know, even in, in a leadership role in a club or, um, you know, maybe even like a student organization and things like that. Like that's super great for us to know. Um, any internships that you've had, um, as well as work experience, you know, a lot of college students, they do, you know, work, you know, in retail or the food industry or, you know, the serving industry, things like that include that stuff because that is going to show us the customer service um, that you've had. And because a lot of the roles at auto owners are customer service driven. Um, and then the other part, um, we want to talk about like the attention to detail is super important um, because when, um, you know, a recruiter like myself, when we're looking at, um, you know, maybe developing a salary for a new hire and things like that, we want to know, you know, where you worked and how long you worked there. So provide us um, that length of time that you've worked there because that's super important. The longer you've been somewhere, we want to be able to credit you for that if we can. Um, and then too, if there is a gap of time in between different jobs, just be able to elaborate on that as to what happened. Um, and, you know, we'll kind of just go from there. But that's a that's a big one that we're looking at is just the consecutive amount of time that you've been somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and kind of along those same lines, what kind of suggestions do you have for a student that might go through the application process and get offered an interview? So for that interview process. Oh, uh, yeah, that interview process. Um, that's nerve wracking. Um, yeah. But, you know, my recommendation is to research the company, um, you know, because a lot of, you know, we have our websites, we have our corporate website out there. Um, look at the values of the company. I know for auto owners, we put out there um, our core values that we, um, you know, that's our foundation of our company. So looking into, um, you know, what the company, um, you know, maybe does with community service with the values that the company has, um, looking at maybe the screenshot of the culture of the company is super important because not only like, do we want us um, to have you dig into us and it shows the extra effort, but we also want you to figure out, does this seem like a good fit for you? Because if it's not, there's no need to even move forward if that's something that you're not interested in as well. So I think it's a twofer. It's figuring out and digging into a company, you know, to show us that you've gone above and beyond, but also to see if that's even a good fit for you as well. Absolutely. Um, now, when you're going through the interview process or before you even offer a student an interview and you're mm -hmm. looking at maybe their resume and cover letter, what about social media? Is that something that you guys really take into account and look at when you're considering bringing someone in for an interview? Um, you know, social media, we really don't dive into. That is not okay. a part of our um, review process. I think the closest thing that we would come to a social media review um, is if you have a LinkedIn profile. Um, at that point, that is a business platform, um, a professional platform. Um, so that's, you know, um, that's like the closest thing to social media. But other than that, no, we don't. Okay. We don't go the avenue of looking at Facebook, TikTok or anything like that. So, OK, yeah, yeah it's always good to hear from different yeah. companies because everyone kind of has their own thing of what they do with social media. So, yeah. Interesting. Um, so we're getting towards the end, which is crazy because I feel like we've been talking for two minutes, but it's really almost <laughs> right? the time. So I really enjoyed talking to you. Um, is there any general advice you'd like to share? Like one little snippet of something that you would tell our students? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, what I would say is, um, you know, when it comes to like interviewing or even at a career fair, you know, dress up for the interview or the career fair, um, you know, be at the top notch. I'm not saying wear a tuxedo or anything like that, but, you know, a suit and tie or a dress shirt and tie, um, that is, or, you know, for the women, you know, a nice suit jacket or a dress, things like that. Um, my, my, my advice all the time is dress up for the job or the interview, um, because you technically don't have the job yet. So it's one of those where, yeah, there's a, you know, we have a casual Friday or other companies might have a casual dress, but I always tell students, you technically don't have the job yet. So dress your very best for a time when you're, you know, in front of an employer, it's a time to impress. Um, 
And then I would also like to say, you know, be ready to talk about a time that you failed and a time that you learned from it. Um, I think that shows a lot. I think people, when they're in front of an employer, they want to impress and they want to talk about only the positive things and the times that they've succeeded. Um, but I think it's huge for an employer to see an area where you failed and where you turned it around and you learned from it. That's a big one. That's a way that you're actually going to impress, um, you know, an employer. Um, and then the other part as well, um, I would just say, um, you know, bring three to five questions, um, you know, maybe even uh, for the interview, I mean, um, and maybe caution on the the higher side of that, because probably a lot of your questions will be answered as the interview um, continues on. Um, but it's just going to show, again, the hiring team, the interview team that you went above and beyond, um, you know, to maybe even look into us or, you know, ask us more about the job as you've done the research. So um, absolutely. Yeah, that's a little bit of a uh, you know, my suggestions. So, so yeah, I love that. I love that advice so much. That's, that's really great. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Friday. Yes. Um, Very, very excited. The weather is nice. So hopefully all of you watching and Alexis, you as well, hopefully you can enjoy that weather this weekend. Um, and again, we just really appreciate you joining us today and talking a little bit about auto owners. It was super helpful. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Erica. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate our partnership. So it's great to always work with you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye.